Okay, once inside Word Tracker, we want to go to the keyword projects. And I'm going to type in a title for my project. Let's just use the example of barbecue. And we've changed the product name, so we just then go to Word Tracker. Now, related keywords, this box over here, if we type in barbecue and proceed, then a list of words related to barbecue appear down below. And my technique for collecting keywords is very simple. I'll click one by one on words here that are 100% related to my niche. So BBQ is 100% related to my niche. And I'll then click to add all keywords to my basket. Barbecue is 100% related to my niche. Barbecue spelled differently is 100% related. Now ribs is not 100% related. Okay, it is something you could cook on barbecue, but it could also refer to ribs in your chest, um, as well as pork. I mean, pork doesn't necessarily mean that you're talking about barbecues. Microbrews doesn't mean you're talking about barbecues, and neither does brisket. These are that's a type of meat. Cooking isn't just related to barbecues either. So what we want to do is we want to go down and find words that are 100% related is barbecue spelled a bit differently barbecue sauce and you can see that as I add these clicking this to click to add all the words to my basket you can see my basket down here is gradually growing in size I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to go down through the rest of this list and just click on those phrases and add them all to my basket and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, now I've got to the end of the list and my keyword basket now is 1385 words. I would like to, to find a few more words and I do have a technique for doing that. What I like to do is go over to Google and type in search term barbecue spell in any of the ways and what I'm looking for is some barbecue websites let's just try those two now Weber grills I'm coming back to the keyword research back to word tracker and in keyword popularity I'm typing in words that I find Weber grills are um, barbecues created by the company Weber and I'll go and look on these sites for more terms that I can use as seed words on WordPress. Okay, now here's a, an interesting site, barbecue.com. We've got um, barbecue smokers, barbecue islands, cookers and burners. Let's just click on barbecue grills and we can see here we've got a few ideas for words so I'm going to go back and just paste those in now it's found 300 of them that that means that I'm actually going to have to paste them in one by one because if it's only found 300 300 is the maximum and one of these keywords is throwing out a lot it's quite possible that I've already clicked on these over in the left hand column but just for check to make sure there was a few more added with that one gas grills I imagine is the one that has 300 on its own as it does and then infrared grills so look down here yeah a few more so by looking at other people's websites um, particularly looking for Manufacturers, there's a manufacturer there, DCS, DCS Grill. Let's have a look and see if there's any searches, right? Nine searches for DCS Grills. You can see that you're gradually building up your keyword list. The next step in Word Tracker is the most painful step. We go over to the competition 
and then we can find the competition at Google or Yahoo. Um, you can only do 100 at a time, so you need to actually go through this manually. But once you've done the competition for uh, all of those phrases, you can then um, get the whole lot of data sent to you in an email. Okay, I've had the email sent to me with all the data. All I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and then in Keyword Results Analyzer Pro or if you prefer um, just the standard KRA will do it as well. We can go to the import data, paste in the email, convert And this is then just converting the data to the format the software knows and then just click on the add to product uh, to project and there is the data in ready for you to search and to filter however you want